Good evening for Madison Public Television and Daniel Hand High School Tiger Football. This is the ninth game of the season, the 2010 season, and we're in Hamden against the Hamden team. Um, Hamden is un uh, has, unwinning. Uh, un unwinning this year, right? Unwinning. This is Kent Sprague. We got Frank Tordoff back tonight and Steve Fust on the camera. We're about ready to begin. How are you doing, big guy? Hand will kick off to Hamden, and Hand has won seven of the first eight games this year, and we're ready to go. Ryan Bell has it teed up, and he hits it to the right side, field it on the fly at about the 20. He's going to bring it forward to about the 32. Okay, and right off the bat, we're going to have to be very, very diligent on our numbers here uh, because we're a long, long way away from the field, and we've got the... Uh, tan numbers on there or the gold numbers and hard to see but anyway nice nice takedown by the tackler on that one and we're located at the top of the stands on the uh, on the west side of the field here up near the hockey rink we're at least 50 yards yeah. away from the playing <laughs> surface it's more like 100 i think yeah. it's a long ways down there so um, hamden with the ball first at the 32. A sweep a to the sweep, right. Sweep right, and oh, yeah, he's, a got a, he's got some yards. He's got about nine. A tackle out there. Good job. But nine yards is pretty heavy duty. I would think that a team like Hamden would be a nightmare for coaches because they haven't won a game all season, but they're a big school. They've got a history of having good teams. And they could uh, rise up and uh, they can bite sw you. swatch you one if uh, you weren't coming out ready to play against a yeah, team can, like this. You got a a mean bunch of bees out there, and they want to take off. And ooh, and it's a pass to this side. Uh, Lost a little. Incomplete pass. But yeah, you have to watch this. And hand, obviously, we're having a, a really good year this year, and we want to be able to maintain that that amount of intensity. Need two more season games, and then um, right now it looks very much like we definitely will at least have one game in the postseason, hopefully three games. But the guys have to maintain their intensity and just look at the play in front of them all the time. Just not what's ahead, in the, even in the game, not even the – There's a flag. flag, and that's that illegal substitution yeah. rule, Frank. Yeah, yeah like I was saying, uh, um, you, you want to be able to maintain that, that intensity going in. You don't want to let down. Uh, we've had enough injuries this year. You don't want to have more, though. So I thought it was very smart last week watching the game. As you said, I was um, a little laid up. But um, watching the game last week on the TV and seeing that uh, the coach rolled out the starters right off the bat, timeout. Huh. 
And wow. we take a break here before we get the next play run. It's third down and about a uh, long six for Hamden. Here we go. Third down now and a long six for Hamden. We're just underway in this game. Looking to throw, and it looks like he's going to be sacked for a big loss. Uh, there's a whole herd of players in there. And it's going to bring up fourth and very long. The, the, the mountain went through that like it was uh, a soft putty, for heaven's sakes. Fourth down and 14. Punt formation for Hamden. Hand with the ball back. We assume it that's Crisco back to return. Then at about the 40. Moves up a little bit. Yeah, a pretty good kick out of there. Catches it on the run. Oh, trying to turn chase. the corner, wow. but thrown down. And there's a flag. Uh, that's got to be on the tackle. It must be a horse collar type yeah. tackle there. And, then it, and it was uh, it was Crisco. Uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't really would have called that a horse collar, but what the heck? Huh? Yeah, that's, the, uh, that's the only thing I could have called it because... Yeah. Uh, that's a, that's, a, that's a penalty against Hamden. Is that call about, it's called a horse collar? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I threw him down a little hard, but I yeah. didn't I didn't see anything too malicious about that one. I didn't either. I uh, that's a I mean it's it's a little too bad. You got a team that's just not having good luck this season. That's a 15 yarder as well. I mean people can get hurt, there's no question. You know where they get hurt the most on that is in the tailbone. Because they can slam a guy down on his tailbone, and that can be a life threatening, life changing type of injury because you can have that. So, Hand will take over on a 46. They do. Short field for them. It's a run left. Cuts it forward for about uh, four. I'm going to assume that's Coretta. Now, last week, Coretta did the. Um, Austin Coretta did the bulk of the carrying. Uh, Leone did a lot of the carrying the ball. Those two primarily with both uh, Dowd and Frey out hurt. Uh, that's a high pass on the far sideline. Mm, they're good. That's not caught. No, a little overthrown. Incomplete pass. Aiming at Alex Pacelli. But even Pacelli couldn't bring that one in. That's a very rare situation, but there was a pretty good uh, blitz going in on him. Third and six. Zach Miller back to throw. Good protection. Nice Rolling left. He's going to run it now. He's got a first down. Yeah, he's got a first down and more. Clear. Nice, out of, nice out of bounds after nice, nice. Uh, about a 10 yard game. One of the things that I see with with uh, our, our boy Zach Miller out there is he's about as cool playing that position as any quarterback I've seen at this level. Yeah, he is, isn't he? That's a run this nice. way, cut back left, and nice. he's got room That's to run more. down the sideline. Maybe. Heading toward the oh, end zone, stop short. Shy. And I'm not sure who the ball. <laughs> Kevin Frey on the carry. Was oh, that Frey? That's it, Kevin uh, Frey. Uh, okay. Very Did nice. a good job there outrunning the defense and it's first and goal. The one thing you kind of worry about when a man like Kevin has been out for a while, you hope he's been able to keep his conditioning. And uh, they're about to two. And that's, that's the quarterback right. taking it toward the end zone. Yeah. Touchdown. Zach Miller takes it in. Circles left. Well, that took two minutes and 29 seconds. And the Tigers uh, just kind of marched down there pretty well. You know, using a lot the legs, of course, of uh, Zach, but uh, that Kevin Frey carry was a real neat one as well. Well, this is the first, if that was Kevin Frey, that's the first carry he's had in at least three games. He's been out a while, hurt. Oh, wow. That's a low kick, no good, off left. Six to nothing is the score with 9.31 left first quarter. I'll hit every kickoff over here to the right side Did he? and down about the 20. Ryan Bell's got it teed up uh, and he's uh, aiming it to the right side. Hamden is expecting it over here. They got two, yeah. two return men over on the yeah. side of the, the field. 
It's a short, high kick, fielded on a run, and that one was a little wow. too short. Clear, brought back clear to the 45. The first man down didn't make the tackle. He was a little bit too high. He should have gone a little bit lower. Uh, I'm sure he'll be talked to about that in a very <laughs> educational way on the sidelines. Bell almost took a divot on that kick. He got it a little low. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, there's a lot of philosophy in different things. You get it up in the air, and sometimes you might be able to pick that puppy off just like an onside kick. Good field position for Hamden in their second possession at the 45. Nope. Pitch. Nice run to the right. Uh, no he's going to try something. to cut it back, but he's got a little bit of yardage. Yeah, he did. He got a little out of it. Not bad a yard job, or two. Looked like he was going to go for loss of about a yard or so. When you stop and hesitate like that, uh, the defense keeps coming. Doesn't take long, does it? Doesn't take a couple more steps, and all of a sudden, he got a about a yard. Second and nine. Well, down three men, uh, Sachs, DeMountain, and Gerson. Uh, Whoop. Running Whoop. right up the Whoop. middle, met at the line of scrimmage, maybe goes forward for a yard. Bit of a rugby scrum out there, got a little bit out of it. Got a half a yard. At this level, you're not supposed to push from behind and get more yardage that way, but it happens on occasion. Third and eight. This is usually a pass play. Hamden operating out of an eye formation. Uh, yeah. He does. A little bit of a delay draw on that. Uh, uh, draw play that's not gonna going to get much. No, not going to go anywhere. Got another yard or so. Not too often. I mean, you can pass obviously out of an eye formation, but usually you see that set up and you're going to get some sort of run. So the linebackers pull in a little bit on that. You know, kind of stuff up the middle, try to make them out some, get it outside. Fourth and seven at the uh, 48 punt formation and for a, Hamden. A slippery ones out back there. Oh, almost. Uh, can I get a fag? No. It's going to bounce acting. backwards there at about the uh, 35. Uh, the kicker went down, but it was more like he was acting on it. And the umpire back there saw it and said, no, 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 kid. You know, <laughs> no Academy Award tonight. <laughs> Hand with the ball back at the 36. We're at 722 left first quarter. Hand took it down the field and scored their first possessions. The conversion was not good, so it's six to nothing. Run to the left. Gains a couple yards. Yeah, that was old Mr. Leone. Getting some good time in. Nice job filling in for the Casey. Leone wears 28. Casey's leading the band from the sidelines right now, and uh, I'm sure he's doing a great job of there. Sorry to see him out there saying for the season. I don't know if he had anything to say about it. He'd be back for at least the last part. But as a parent, you don't, you know, you got a lot more in, in front of you and behind you as far as life goes. And is going to run to the right and not get anything there. Oh, my goodness. That was, um, normally you would expect a little out of that, but Hamden... Hamden was up to the task. Ball just short of the 40. Third down and seven. This usually is a pass play. Got two receivers each side. Straight back, looking to throw. Down the middle. Deep, deep, deep. Long. Oh, he had a man, but he overshot yes, he him. A little bit too long. Fourth down play coming. Zach had a little more time. He could have held on to that and made a little sure of it, but... He, he kind of zipped that puppy down there. One of the coaches for hand will probably make note of the fact that that receiver was uh, wide open there if they could have just gotten the ball to him. Miller back to punt. There was some good protection. Pretty good snap. Good kick. And a pretty good oh, kick. Oh 
Good gonna tiger go, roll. I'm going to let it roll, and it's going to go down about the 20. Ah, this is Inside the 20. <laughs> Get points for that. Kicker's, uh, kicker's always pride on getting inside the 20, and he made that by about six inches, I think, huh? <laughs> Old Zach does have a good boot on him, no question about it. Yeah, he does a lot of things pretty well. He throws the ball well, he runs the ball well, he's yeah, a he really good does. punter. Yeah, I mean, I'll get back to that a little bit, too. Uh, like I said, I think he's as cool as you see back there. doesn't get plus. Even in, 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 in other levels of play, you'll see a quarterback back there, and he kind of has dancing feet a lot, uh, maybe even fake pump, pumps his hands and stuff. Zach is very cool down there to the last minute, makes good decisions. All right, trying to. Oh, Whoa. man, breaks through and got a big game going, clear down across yeah, the 40. Wow. That play looked like it was messed up, but the runner got loose. First down for Hamden. Well, Hand lost the contain on that far, far side over there. Didn't have anybody come in and really stay home on that back side to, to eliminate that. That'll be a very quick fix, I would assume. <laughs> Easy for me to say up here, Kent. Takes that ball clear to the 42. And they're going to come to the left, gained a yard or so, and that's it. That time there was good contain on this side. And again, normally your outside men, their job on a running play is to take a few steps inward and then turn inward. Uh, I mean, downfield, and then turn inward so that they can, you know, force the man back into the pack. And if your man isn't out there or he commits inside too, too far, then they can get around him. We saw that in the last play. Second and nine. Quarterback looking to throw to the right. Oh, yeah, too much. Floats oh. it out to the right, incomplete. Looked like Troy Smith had come in from his uh, his position as safety, and one of the captains, Troy, uh, got on his horse. Went in after that. He saw what was going on. It was going to be a flat pass. Not a screen, but just out to the flat. That yeah, looks like big Joey D going off. Third and nine. They're going to run right, cut middle. back, and wrap nice, up. Nice. Right near the line of scrimmage. Good play by the Hill. General Hill down there. Came right in from his linebacker's slot. He's really learned how to read that very, very well in there. And uh, see if there's a pulling man go in behind the pull. If he sees the blocks kind of spreading at a particular gap, comes and fills the gap. Very, very smart ball player we're seeing this year. Really developed well. Fourth and seven, punt formation for Hamden. High, ooh, oh, they got him. High kick. They got him. Uh, they're gonna get away from yeah. it. And let it roll. And that's going to be uh, down at about to 24. It's going to be a first down, I think. Oh, we, got a, a, we got a flag back here. Yeah, no, they they roughing. It's going to be roughing or the kicker. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Hand actually, there, there were three hand players right in on that kick, but nobody pulled back and they didn't uh, angle it. So that's going to be. I would say 10 anyway in a first those, down. Those kind of penalties sometimes change momentum because oh my goodness. <laughs> you're getting the ball back and all of a sudden you don't have it back. Well, the key one for that as far as this season goes actually is that Notre Dame fourth down offsides by Tigers. That absolutely changed that game. Next play, 82-yard run for the Green Knights and um, never look back after that. Oh, still fourth down. Still only an inadvertent. Uh, still fourth down, but they only got two to go, and yeah, they're going to go for it here. Yeah. Right at the 50-yard line. Going to go to the straight. right. Got cut it. back. And they got the first down. And they have it. Looks like they have it. Good call by the uh, the coach down there for Hamden. First down, Hamden. Oh, quite a few hand family down here. As far as fans go, see some soccer jackets and some uh, field hockey jackets. 
Well, it's a nice evening for football. Nice football evening is right. Temperature at about 45 degrees, no wind. No wind, no snow. No snow. Nice moon. <laughs> so we got to get oh, a run. few stuff from howling up there. It's not quite a full moon, but. That's three-eighths of a full moon. Yeah, three-eighths out there. They gained uh, close to five yards on that run. Yeah, they run. did, yeah. They... Need to see a little bit more intensity on the defense down there. And defense has been hand strong suit, so as far as uh, this season goes, I think, really, I mean, good offense, too, no question. Oh, that ball Whoa. bobbled in the backfield and messed up. For a loss. Going to be a loss. Nice, nice job. Back to about to 50. Now I'm going to spot it to 48. I believe Tuchero was in on that. You saw the mishandle came in from the corner, did a good job. Got a little more help, but that was, uh, he slowed him down, got him going. So far, this doesn't look like an 0 and 8 team at hand is playing, no, does it? No, they don't, yeah. They're they playing. Some. Right, pretty well even with hand in this first quarter. We only got two minutes left in the first quarter. Third and ten to run right, trying to circle Whoa. the right side. Not much. Not much at all. Well defense. That will bring up a fourth down play. Again, the outside came in that time. You could. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the uh, diamond vision, but the outside uh, hand defenders came in, turned them in. Linebackers fell, took down the running back. No gain. Another punt for Hamden. Crisco drops back near the 10. Kids, yeah. uh, kicks it high, high and short. That's they're a not, poison. They're not going to field this one. And it's going to run down to about the 18 where it rolls dead. Very, very high kick. You can get some good hang time out of that. He had players down there on the ball very quickly. So good kick by the... By the Hamden punter. Well, we're inside of a minute and a half left in this first quarter. Score is six and nothing. Hand has scored once, and Hamden has played him even since then. Zach Miller, quarterback. It's Miller time. Low snap. Now he's going to throw him. man open. Out of bounds are in. They're he's got a catch. Got a catch. First down. Gained about uh, 16, 17 yards. The slippery one slipped Cr out there and got the ball. Crisco makes the catch. Throw again off. over to the left side. Makes the catch and another pretty good gain. That one gains about eight. Yeah, you got it. That's Pacelli, I think. Yes, yes it is. And we have a Hamden man down on the play after that. So we'll take an injury timeout here with 102 showing on the clock in the first quarter, hand leading Hamden six to nothing. Smile, you're on Kendra camera. Lee. This is your good good taxpayer money at work down here. You can see the, the young ladies doing a great job and taking film for the coach. We see uh, <laughs> All right, good job. After that injury timeout, they helped the uh, Hamden man off of the field. Hope he's okay. Second down, about two. Nice first down. That, that should get us the first down. Some good mix up in there with, I mean, mixing in of running backs. That was Chad on the run. So we've seen Leone and uh, Crisco and uh, Frey so far. So that's good. And well, as well as Miller for that matter. Aye. Ball about to 49. Oh, play action. Miller looking nice. rolling left. Oh! So it was a little high and behind the receiver just, on the left side. Yeah, just a tad behind him. I know uh, Zach's going to be thinking this. 
going to shake those out. Going to have a short memory as a quarterback. He's, he's, his passing has been a tad off his game. Uh, we've seen him extremely accurate, good leads and stuff. So if you're going to have a bad game or a little bit off, this is the one to do Second it. Second and ten. Got protection. Nice There's a man guy. wide open. Complete pass, a big one. Down the sideline near the 20. Oh, man. Uh, PA announcer gave yes, Vitale yes, care yeah, for that. Nice, nice catch. Nick Vitale. Nice pass and catch all the way. Get in rhythm. That's the type of rhythm. Nice pass that will help, help Zach get in his Miller timing. He was wide open there for that pass and a good run after it. Not to oh, run nice. to the left side, cut back. A four yard gain, nice. Uh, out three or four. Yeah, then. Uh, Leone, is that who that yeah, was? That was uh, Mr. Leone. Yeah, they only gave him two yards on that run. Yeah, must have been a knee down or something on that. Quick pass oh, to this man. side. Completed two. pass. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Not going to get much. Forward Can't get away. A little bit, Can't get away. Crisco. That's kind of actually lost a little. I mean, oh, I lost a half a yard. Wish they. I, I mean, they should have given him some forward progress, but they didn't. Up, oh, that runs out the first quarter, Frank. Doesn't it? Six to nothing. Hand leading Hamden after one quarter of play and. Hamden, an 0 and 8 team, has played hand tough yes, in that first have. quarter. Yes, they did. Very we'll much switch ends of the field. Are you sure that it is? Wow. Wow. Third and ten. Zach Miller still got it, Whoa. and he's thrown for a loss in the backfield. Wow. Defensive man came through. My goodness. Well, they're still inside the 30, so they'll probably go for it on fourth here. Well, one of the things we see is Hand is playing at five front on offense. No tight end. They've got everybody flanking. So they really have kind of losing a blocker, if you will. And that's why they're getting around them, I think. Fourth down and about 20. Let's see what Zach Miller does with this one. He's going to throw it along. Complete pass. Nope. Nope. No. Oh, the referee is still watching no, that saying, play. Yeah. Like it isn't over yet. Yes, that's right. He's saying it was a complete pass and, and green dragon ball. And Hamden recovers in the end zone, so it's a touchback, right? Yeah. Pacelli made the catch, had it knocked loose. Hamden recovers. Well, one thing we're seeing from Hamden is some very, very hard hitting tackling I think I mean we've seen that a couple of they did get actually that horse collar penalty also but I mean and, and Zach when he was thrown for a loss so very hard tackle uh, going for the ball is what you just saw there against a apex and he usually used those pecs to hold in the ball pretty well but they had multiple multiple players on him So hand denied. That's the first turnover of the game, isn't it? Yep. I believe it is. Hamden with the ball back at the 20. We're early in the second quarter with hand leading 6 0. The Green Dragons of Hamden. Quarterback looking to throw, and oh. he's knocked down. Did he hang on to the, the ball? I don't know. Well, they're not signaling anything different, so. Yeah, I don't know how he held on to it. Ooh. Got hit from behind, the blind side. Five yard loss. Second and 15. Pitch. Run to the right and stop pretty oh. quickly. Yeah, a little bit. They gained a little bit, but not a whole heck of a lot. Okay. 
gained about a yard. The Walshman out there doing a job from his, his linebacker position. Third and 14 coming up. Now we have the Saxy one, we have the, the Mountain, and we have PG rated out there. <laughs> Quarterback Whoa, looking got to him. throw, and somebody's got him wrapped up. Yeah. And that Going was for a loss. He was trying to throw it there while a hand man had a hold of him. That's when you throw interceptions, so it was probably wise for him to take the loss. Yeah. Well, you know. The PG rated Gershom in there got in there pretty well. He also had help from uh, Joey D. But I really am impressed with uh, how PG's been working. He's uh, he's really turned into being a very strong point in that uh, defensive end position. Fourth and long, punt formation back near the five. Good Shad kick. On the 48. 48, Chris Fields. He's brought down well, there's a flag. It might That's be another one mask. of those horse collar tackles. Either that or a face mask. And the referee was right there. I mean, the way he went down, it almost looked to me like it was a face mask. But again, you couldn't quite see it. But when you have the head jerked around like that, yeah, you he brought it back mask. about to 42. Let's see where it ends up after the penalty. Gonna be a personal foul anyway. Either way, it's going to be walked off against Hamden. It'll be a very short field yeah. for Ham. 15 yard, a personal foul, no matter which way you cut the mustard. It's 15. First down at about the 26. Hand it off to and the off. right side and a run it looked like behind Kevin. right guard, right tackle. I'm not sure, but it did look like Kevin out there. Gains four or five. Leone, get all those twos and you kind of mix up the, the second number. A four yard gain. Nice roll Zach out. Zach Miller rolling right, throwing his long. Man. No good. Had a man down there, but he couldn't connect with him. Incomplete pass, second and six. I, kinda, I just wanted to do say while we're here is uh, I do appreciate a lot of people stopped me during the week and <laughs> said, how you doing, Frank? Uh, hey, it's a ma marvel of modern technology when they do something like they did to me and I'm out in 24 hours and but I do appreciate people seeing me and stopping shop and church and walking down the street and stuff. And I'm, of course, I'm glad to be walking down the street too. <laughs> but it's neat. It means that a lot of people are watching the game, which I hope they do, and you know that sort of thing. Well, uh, after being, spending a day in the hospital this last week, Frank, uh, I'm glad to have you back. Yeah. Well, I hope you don't aren't pushing it a little too soon here. <laughs> You sound like my wife, Ken. You sound like my wife. Get off my back, please. <laughs> now all we got to do. You don't look like her, but. Now, you know. now all we got to do is get your bum shoulder fixed. Yeah, now we got to get that goofy shoulder done. That's going to be a couple of months out anyway. So. Well, what do we got here? Third and six. Zach Miller trying to get another score here. Looking to throw. Oh, oh he's got man. a man after him. <laughs> he dodges that first man. Get his pass and intercepted. And that's going to be intercepted down wow. about the 10. Wow. Well, I mean, here and uh, had an opportunity with a very short field, not able to put away. Uh, you know, there were two teams on the field. Yeah. Huh? I mean, you got you to hand it to the green team out there that uh, put pressure on Zach, forced him out of his comfort zone. Moved him down the field. He threw a pass uh, in a traffic, and uh, Green Dragons were up to uh, burning that one. The hand, Hamden turns away the hand scoring chance there with a great field position to start the drive, but they can't take advantage of it. 
Run to the right. Jeez. <laughs> Gain about two or three. Haven't really had a chance to study the Hamden roster at the moment. We get it late and uh, see how big their boys are down front there, but. Not yeah. about a two yard gain on that run. Seeming to be quite a bit of, I mean, if you were down in the trenches down there, you'd see quite a bit of give and take as far as both the offense defense play against each other. Uh, a couple of times one team makes a little move, the other one, then the other team comes back, makes adjustments. Uh, down in the, some pretty good trench warfare going on. And they're running again. That was a little bit of a delay. Again, two or three more. And Frank, this uh, Hamden team, uh, this game and the one last week against East Haven are two uh, teams with losing records, but uh, uh, Hamden is uh, bringing their best game to do hand tonight. They really seem to be. Um, hand scored 28 points in that first quarter against East Haven. They've got six against Hamden. So it's a little different game here. Third and five. Quick dive. Run nothing. left. So far, hand has plugged up the middle of that field pretty well, giving him a yard or two on those kind of runs. But that'll bring up fourth down. They, well, didn't, they didn't get their 3.4 yards no, per no. carry down there. No, and, and the Hamden is doing some pulling, pulling of the off, offside guard out there to kind of give an overload to one side. And the hand, the hand down three are moving with that pretty much and letting the linebackers take care of it. And the punter hits them high. And that fair catch. Fielded a good, fair good catch job. right at midfield. Crisco makes a dive and catches it, hangs on. Yeah, that thing almost started to drop straight down. It didn't have an arc on it very much once it got to its apex up there. And nice job by Crisco to come in and fair catch that puppy. Well, they've only got half the field to go here to try to put it in the end zone. We're, we played in half of this second quarter now. Six to nothing, hand leading Hamden. And has had the ball the majority of the time, but they've only got one score to show for Change, it. Changing the play down there. When you see them rise back up like that, that's usually changing the play. Run to the right, uh, no and that one. that one is going to be smothered with about maybe, a yard loss. Maybe they should have stayed with the original <laughs> play. <laughs> play number one. <laughs> Stay with plan A instead of going to plan B. Again, hands playing with the, 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 the five, the center, two guards, two tackles, and uh, no tight end right now out there because of the open game we play right now. Sometimes you need that extra tight end. Nice dodge. Quarterback still got it, Miller. Gee whiz. <laughs> Coming this way. Gains a couple of yards, but a lot of running and not a lot of yards. No, that fooled, fooled my eyes a little bit on that one. Third and long. Third and eight. Well, that's, that play is coming in. They had one, and it's coming in from the, yeah. the sidelines. Changing the play. Third and eight. Zach Miller straight back. Got protection. Oh, deep. Throws it over this side. No good. No good. Incomplete pass. Wow. Just out of reach. Uh, Paselli. Got a, got a hand on it, but the defensive man also stripped him. The defensive man had the same basic look as far as height goes as Alex and uh, Zach Miller to punt. Oh, there's a high punt. Yeah. Oh, it takes a 90 degree. Yeah, it goes backwards. Yeah. Not a lot of yardage on that one. Nope, nope, he didn't get, didn't get that one the way he wanted. Hey, maybe, maybe uh, 
Maybe Zach was up late studying last night or something, you know? <laughs> we have 4.23 on the clock in the second quarter. Yeah, and Zach, when you see this, don't take any offense to that at all, my man, because I know you have already gone over it, but, uh, you know, studying's good. <laughs> he is a straight-A student, I believe, so. Of course, he may have watched the UConn game last night. Too. That <laughs> might was, have been homework from the coach. I watched that one. That was a very good game. Hamden running left and cut down a short gain. A little bit, not much. Maybe a yard. They're, they're seeming to be running almost the same series of plays quite commonly. Hamden has not thrown the ball much, have they? No, no, it's been very much. Very similar. They gave him almost two yards on that play. Now they look like pass protection out there. Nope. Again, run, run right, trying to cut back. A little bit of the, to old, the 35. The old cross buck. Another okay. yard. Two plays, gain three yards total. There we go. And with a lot of running plays, the clock is running quickly. We're down to 320 left in the first yeah. half. Look like some receivers just went in for the Dragons. And they look that. Yeah. Quarterback and looking to throw. Oh. oh, he's hit just as he throws. Complete down. pass. Almost the first he, down. He's close to a first down. Yeah. Did he get it? Right at the marker. They, they should bring it out for a measure, but. Uh, oh, that's not going to be it. I no, they're going to give it to him. First down. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, that seemed generous. <laughs> First down. That quarterback just barely got that oh, one away yeah. before he got in level. To pitch right, sweep right. Not, not Nuts. the cut to make right then. That play is pretty well stuffed by the defensive line for hand on this side of the field. Now the Walshman's getting in there quite readily, doing a good job from this left-hand side. Second and ten. We're down to two minutes left in the first half. Sweep right again. Cut back. You know, they're, they're, the, the Dragons are very much liking to come to this, well, to their right hand side, our hands left. Kind of can understand it from maybe their scouting standpoint because you get Pete over there and he's a sophomore. And you kind of think, well, let's pick on the sophomore a little bit. But boy, he's holding his own. Also, you've got Walsh over there. And um, he's a little bit smaller than a lot of linebackers at this level. But he does a great job. He, he has very good basic technique. Third and eight coming here. Usually this is a pass play. And they show an eye. Looking oh. long. Intercepted. And, and nope. two, re two uh, defensive people from hand there. Back right with the receiver. Incomplete pass. Good coverage. And Troy Smith was back there. Fourth and long coming up. Yeah. Hand will get the ball back with just over a minute left in the uh, first half. Well, Hand has had a lot of chances. And a, oh. That's a low kick. Low kick. A line drive uh, fielded, taken to the right, trying to turn the corner, back to the 35. <laughs> Crisco likes to, to really go out there and make it exciting, and he does. He's an exciting runner out there. But he got about seven, I think, on that return. Yeah, it was about seven, but he, he ran about 40 the other, <laughs> you know, on the left to right standpoint. 
But he does. He has some good foot speed. He has a lot of confidence in himself to try to get on the let's, outside. Let's see if Zach goes for something long here. We're yeah. just under a minute left in the uh, second quarter. Hand leading six to nothing. Outside of that one score, they really haven't done a lot against the Hamden defense. He's, He's going, going long. Yeah. He's got him. There's a man Ooh. there. Incomplete pass down near the 35. That's probably Paselli, isn't it? I would say. Yep. And they've got good coverage on him. I, I think this, I think Hamden has heard about Paselli yeah. before. At this at this stage of the uh, at this stage of the season, he's well known. Zach Miller looking to throw it again. Goes out Over on the, the dump. far side. Did he get it? He's got a catch. Nice uh, job. I got a catch there at the 40. And Chad came back for that one. The slippery one. A little over five yard gain. Third down. Motion this side, got three receivers over here. Zach Miller coming this way. Going He's deep. going He's long, there's a man, complete pass. Still going, breaks two tackles and heading for the end zone. Touchdown hand. Who was that mask man? Well, the PA announcer gives Vitaly credit for it. Is that who it was? Nicky boy. Nick Vitaly. He not only made the catch, he broke a oh, nice job. Broke tackles from two defenders there. It was a combination spin move and just yanked the old jersey type thing. And he did a good job of getting out of the grass. Nice job all the way around by Nicky Boy. Hand did not get their conversion on the first try, so they're going to go for two. Look at this formation here. Yeah. Three receivers right. Miller rolling right. Oh, oh. Did I get right? Uh, he's throwing oh, he's it into it. the end zone. Yes. Did he get nice caught? Job. He went to the underman on that. Who, um, that got caught, didn't it? Yes, it did. Okay. <laughs> Two point conversion is good. And 14 to nothing. Who was it? <laughs> numbers didn't turn around for me to see him. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, uh, who was that uh, mess? Uh, huh? Mystery receiver got that one. Yeah, mystery receiver. So hand leads uh, 14 to nothing with uh, 29 seconds left. That was a quick strike score for Han. Got their second touchdown. That's right. Han uh, got the ball with 57 seconds and did go deep a couple times. So they scored on their first possession of the half and uh, looks like last their last possession of the half. Yeah. And Nick Vitale, he's one of the guys I like to call the Chippendales out there. You know, he, Chippendale. they got those good-looking young guys. <laughs> you know, be able to make make a good living going through college. I think. <laughs> huh? I don't know. These, yeah, I these know. ladies over here are laughing My at you, right? Up here are thinking I'm crazy, but I know they think the same thing I do. There he's kicking it over yeah. to the right side. Right side. Fielded down about to 25. They're trying See? to pin him against the sideline there. That chewed up some time. 24 seconds left in the half. I don't know. I might have to get another one of those heart friendly hot dogs over there. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody tell the cardiologist that. Do you cardiologists recommend the hot dogs? Do yeah, I know. Hamden with the ball to 42, 24 seconds left. Time out. Ah, looks like we're ready to play. Let's see if Hamden tries something here with 24 seconds left. Well, run right up the middle. Oh, no. <laughs> He's got a pretty oh, good wow. run going. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Not quite a first down. Close to 10 yards. Yeah. Didn't want to see him break loose and 15 seconds left in the half. 
Oh, they do. Sure. Mark that just short, just and we got a timeout well, before the, the first down on it. before the half. Hamden oh, takes gosh. the timeout with just under 15 time. seconds left. Yeah. Okay, ready to go here. First down for Hamden on that uh, last play. Something that uh, they may, they may just take a shot at something long oh. here. There he goes, long intercepted, and, and hand intercepts. Yeah. Is that Mel or um, Smith, maybe? Troy Smith, I think. Yeah, Troy, baby. Troy Smith, a good position there. Hand had defenders all over the place back there, yeah, so they, they were in good shape. Almost any one of four guys could have got that one. But Troy came around with a nice job, guy in the ball. Eight seconds left in the first half, so take him, take we may a see a kneel down here. And there it is. That will run out the first half with, oh. I think it will. <laughs> the clock did not start. Now it's, yeah, they're going to call it. <laughs> The clock still says. There we go. There we go. We're back for uh, third quarter. Hand leading 14 to nothing. They scored late in that second quarter. And Hand gets the ball first in the third quarter. So far, Frank, um, Hamden has played them pretty tough, haven't they? Hamden is much tougher than they thought, I think, they were going to. I think Hand, it's one of those games that you come out, and we hope not, but the boys come out and say, you know, we should be able to win this. Maybe not quite the adrenaline rush. Hampton, on the other hand, has just stung all season. So it's picked up on a bounce at about the 15. Coming nice this run. way. Nice run. He's got a little crease nice on the sideline. Nice job. Ooh, that should be Crisco a, coming from that side. That was almost another almost. horse collar yeah, tackle. Yeah, almost. <laughs> but, you know, I, I'm sure the coach would have um, given some good teaching on, on the um, – Halftime. You don't take a team for granted, even though they're 0 and 8, uh, because it's a big school. Yeah. They've got a good history of good teams, and they, they, they will come out and smack you if you're not ready for them. They absolutely will, and then that's why you play the games. You know, it's Zach Miller opening up, up nice here pass off catch. the left, complete pass, first down, got it. Yep. Nice, nice, nice run after catch on that catch. First down plus another five. And it looks like Zach Miller is coming out with an attitude like, let's put I, this yeah. game away here in the third quarter. Yeah, he said, now it's Miller time now. That was to pass his apex anyway, by the way. Nice run after catch, as he's want to do. Ball to 41. Uh, but that one's not going to get very much. That's a keep him honest play right there. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of a delay coming off the right side, and it was well defense. Of course, the way contracts are nowadays, maybe that's one of those. Got to have so many touches to make sure you get your salary. Uh, is that it? I think so. That's uh, the union rules, huh? Yeah. Okay, pass over to the left side, uh, screen. Wow. And nice he's got play. another first down, down to the 30. Nice play. Good line surge, too. That's one of those, uh, I'm not sure what you call that, a bubble screen or... A, well, of course, what they may have called them years ago is different change, same play, you know, different names. White out, it kind of circles back toward the quarterback, takes it up. First down at the 30. Oh, ball's dropped. Oh, man. And Hamden may have covered that one. I believe they did. The exchange from quarterback to running back. Well, it was not clean. It wasn't clean, and that, that's, uh, again, it's going to be a concentration thing right there, I think. Uh, had some good momentum going, and that's a momentum killer, of course. Now you got the defense has got to come right back and, and do some work. Hamden was pretty conservative most of that first half. A lot of runs for two-yard gains. Uh, over right guard, right tackle, that sort of thing. That's right. I, I would say 75% of the plays went in that direction. Let's see if they open it up a little third quarter. Yeah, that's They're going right to throw there. on the first one. 
Intercept. intercepted. And intercepts on the far side, and he's got an alley he's down that sideline. One man to beat. Looks like he pushed out there of bounds is. just short. No, they gave it to him. Just got by there, tiptoe through the tulips. I thought that last defender there may have shoved him out of bounds, but I guess not. I don't know whether that was. I think that's Dylan Wilson, huh? What was that, that was the beach boy. Uh, Wilson, number two. I thought that looked like his area out there. Nice job. Thank you very much, Eric. Dylan, Dylan Wilson makes it interception and a good run back all the way back. A little bit of a tip, so. Ryan Bell to try Whoa. the kick, and there's a flag. No, that's not a flag. That's a ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I thought so, too. <laughs> That was a, I saw something fly, but it wasn't the ball. It wasn't the flag Ring at the all. Bell. Ooh, another low no, one, low no, and left. No, no good. Oh, I Ryan. think Ryan Bell was out studying last night too. <laughs> Ryan Bell is hit two low and left kicks. Twenty to nothing, hand leading, and with 10:21 left, third quarter. Well, and again, then if uh, you're going to have somewhat of an off game, you know, let's get it out of the system before the. Uh, Next one and hopefully next three after that. <laughs> I can't believe that. You need some socks? Misa is over here getting cold, she says. No, I said if we win and we go oh. tomorrow, it's going to get cold. Oh, yeah, you better wear something on your feet. You may need yeah, socks. Yeah, I'm telling you. She wouldn't tell us if she was cold. I never get cold. <laughs> Okay, about ready to kick off back to Hamden. Frank, uh, last game against East Haven, uh, Ryan Bell had three field goals yeah. in that first half. Yeah, and I was wondering, I, I, I don't remember that many. I think I can remember a couple by Steve McIntyre. I don't remember three field goals. Steve McIntyre years ago was a pretty darn good kicker himself back in the... There's another high the short one to the right side. Fielded uh, just short of the 30, yeah. pushed out of bounds. That gives good field position. That is by design. I kind of hope they might do something a little different than that because I know that is, like I say, by design. And, and yeah, but yeah. The, the other guys get the ball to 39. You're, you're That's yeah, awful good field position. You are. And, I mean, other good, good teams, as you get into teams that really are, you know, in the tournaments and stuff, they're going to be able to do something with that. They're going to run right, oh. trying to turn that corner on the right side, and he does. Yeah. Pretty, good, pretty good yardage. Good job. He, he got some, uh, got a little bit of running. We made it himself, though. I mean, he did cover the corner, but again, not some contained, but that's obviously their, their preferred side to go. So Han has to kind of beef up that over there a little bit. Eight yard gain. Part of that is up to the guys to uh, maybe take an extra step to the to the sideline so they can come in a little bit more and kind of force it back inside a little bit. So you're coming in at a different angle. Second and two. And a misdirection back this way. I don't believe he's going to get a first down on it, I though. I don't think so. It didn't look like much of anything to me. Let me third. Frank, I was talking with him. We have a fellow just down to the right of us here from Weathersfield, who's the advanced scout ah. <laughs> for Weathersfield taping this game. And he says if Weathersfield meets hand at, uh, in Madison, uh, what should we expect? And I said, expect it to be cold. <laughs> Amen, brother. Amen. He didn't get any other <laughs> hot tips from me on it. Ah. That's a dive forward, and that's going to be stopped short. going to be fourth down, lost a yard. <clears throat> Fourth and four, five. No, not not that you really want to think too far ahead, but we do have that luxury up here, and we can tell our fans back home about it. That Hand is right now ranked number three in the state tournament. Here's a punt by Hamden. Oh, that's a good long that punt. That is a good one. <laughs> Go clear back to about the Maybe 15 to field it. Nice block to spring him for a little bit out there. Mm -hmm. Brings it back across the 20. Mm. 
But yes, um, you know, we don't, when the guys are watching this at home, we don't want them to get thinking too far ahead, but the fans need to, because it can be some really fun football ahead. We've certainly been to tournaments before, and uh, the way it works, uh, the, out of the eight rankings, the higher four rankings, we'll have home games on the Tuesday after Thanksgiving, and then the winners of those games will have a semifinal game uh, on a Saturday, the following Saturday, and then the state championships for high school this year will all be played at Rensselaer Field. Oh, look at that run up the middle. Nice job. First, First down, down close to it. Near the 35. Have you been in Rensselaer Field, Frank? I have not. I have not been there yet, right. I watched the UConn uh, game against uh, Pittsburgh last night at that stadium. Apparently, it's a nice facility. I've been by it. I mean, I've gone to Cabela's. Uh, has yeah, a, yeah right so right have there. I. And, I mean, there's certainly lots of parking. They have it pretty well set up to be able to, to park and everything. Okay, Hen trying to move the ball here. They're moving the sticks. Got a first down. A run over the right side. That's going to gain three or four. And did he lose that ball, yeah, Frank? Oh boy, it looked like people were worried about it. I'm not They're sure what they got there. It looks like a fumble Holy and God. Hamden recovered right in the middle of that line. Somebody punched it out of there, apparently. I saw somebody from Hand going in late hey, and looking yeah. for the ball. Yeah. Hamden's yeah. best field position. Yes, it and is. And they're yeah. going to get it about the 30, between the 37, 38. Well, a couple of uncharacteristic mistakes by the Tigers. A missed handoff a little bit earlier. And obviously that uh, fumble, it happens. And Hamden running left. Takes it near the 35. Two or three yards. Another, and they, saying there's another yeah, fumble. People are acting like yes. there's a fumble on that one. Holy hand recovered. Cow. Now you have it, now you don't. Holy cow. So uh, an exchange of fumbles here. The hand with the ball back at the th well, 35. The Hamden running back was trying to stretch a little bit more out of that and lost the ball as he's out. A lot of times you, yeah, you, you. You need to just try to cut your loss at that point and just go down on it. But Zach Miller looking to throw, looking long deep, down the deep, middle. Look at the man, complete pass, and he's heading for the end zone. There too, yes. Touchdown hand, a long one. That play started about the 35, 65 yards. That's Pasali again. Pasali? Yes. Was that, was that Pasali? Apex makes the catch, extends the hands lead. That's two touchdown passes for Nick. He laid that one right in there, didn't he? That was a he nice pass nice, and nice, catch. Nice layout there by. Conversion try by Bell. He's over two tonight. Oh, that's. Ooh. That one looks better. No, no, good no good. Holy okay, you know, still off a lot the of pressure coming in uh, on the rush, and he must be getting uh, spooked by it a little bit. So 0 for 3 on the extra the point try. Right. The hike looked okay, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, he had plenty of height. I guess he pushed it off left. 26 to nothing, 7:18 left in the third quarter. We'll take a break here. That was my tally. It was my tally. You got to put helium in the balls. <laughs> okay, we're ready to kick off back here. We just got a correction from uh, Eric Becker here that uh, it was uh, Nick Vitale. There's the long kick that uh, sailed over the head and it's picked up down at the two. Oh, yeah. And uh, oh, nice that, tackle. I like seeing that. So that Nick Vitale scored that uh, touchdown. That was an Eric Becker style tackle right there. So he kicked that one away, and uh, the return man saw that it was going to die on about the two-yard line, so he had to pick it up. It got up to the eight. Yeah, you know, kids will have a tendency to think it's almost like a 
a punt sometimes, and uh, they may just leave it there, and it's a live ball. So he did well at least to pick it up, because otherwise he could have pounced on that. Clear down to the eight. Hands now leading 26 to nothing with 7.07 .07 left in the third quarter. There's another run right up the middle of the line, up to about the 11, 12. Maybe three yards. Yeah, yeah. Magically so. <laughs> It's spotted about the 12. That's a long field to be making it two and three yards of the crack. Going uh, to the other side oh, man, again. it's going That's to the right contained. side and doesn't wow, quite no. contain him over there. Finally pushed him out of bound near a first down. It should be a first down, I believe. Yeah, where they. Referee's got his foot. That's a first down. Yeah. Well, again, Dylan Dylan rode him out of bounds on that, and it's a good thing because otherwise it was just green ahead of him. But again, the contain was not there on that right hand side. A little bit of commitment on occasion. You know, I was thinking back to the touchdown pass. We, we we're likely to see um, a couple of records broken this year because. I think Han is getting very, very close to breaking the um, uh, touchdowns, past touchdowns in a, in a season and receptions in a season. They're running to this side nice and a tackle from behind. Well, he may have lost a half a yard. What a good defensive play there. Gabe Sachs was in a Gabe Sachs, uh, the Saxy one, he was able to uh, contain that. He did go in from that. That position, turn him on the inside, did a good job. I had to do, I'm used to more a four man front from years ago, and we got a three man front basically where your linebackers then come up and fill for a run, but it's a little bit harder that way, I think. There's the flag. Gonna be a time thing? That's, that's the guy that normally uh, keeps the clock. Was it a delay of game? Yep. Five yard penalty against Hamden. Second and 15. We have five and a half minutes left in this third quarter. Hand is leading 26 to nothing against Hamden. Nice long pass play of about 65 yards from Zach Miller to uh, Nick Vitale. Scored the last one, and the quarterback's being pursued. He's going to have to get out of there. He's going to be thrown for a loss. Nice job breaking him out of there. He got flushed from the backside, and uh, Hand also had a good defensive man in position on the on the far side, so he had no place to go. I think that was I think that was Tachero going over there. I think on the backside. <clears throat> nice third, job. Third down and about 20 now. Yeah. <clears throat> now these running plays do more of that clock, don't they, huh? <laughs> yeah. Clock is running. And Hamden is not much of a passing team this year, it looks like. That's tough when you don't have balance. Uh, they've tried it a couple of times. Of course, Ann did get one excellent interception. Timeout by... Yeah, funny they right. stop the clock with a timeout before they run the next play. Third and about 20, 435 left third quarter, hand leading 26 to nothing. Third and long. Quarterback looking oh. to throw to the far side. Intercept it. Intercept by hand. That's a 20 run down the sideline. Inside the 10, it looks like. Let's see where they mark it out of bounds. Maybe about the 12. That was over in the area where uh, Dylan Wilson normally patrols. That wasn't him, was it? I, 
I, I could have been. I uh, looked more like a linebacker, but um, again, we couldn't quite tell from here. And once they get into the pile over there, it's hard to see. Couldn't pick it up meeting, but it is over in Dylan's side. <laughs> That's a dark corner over in that dark side of the field, isn't yeah. it? Too. And um, let's see when it happens, whether Ivy was over there. For I think um, Dan Ives have been over there on that side, too. So That's a very short field for hand on this position, starting at the 12. Zach Miller rolling this way, looking toward the end zone. Nice Complete catch. pass down to the five. And that is That's Apex. Pasoli high in the air to uh, get it. Another one of the Chippendales down there. <laughs> Second and four. Miller rolling left. Looking toward the end zone. Oh, he's, oh. Uh, incomplete pass. Didn't quite throw that away, but he wasn't going to put that anywhere so it could be really well intercepted. So he put a little bit high, a little bit of steam on it, tried to get it by the defenders, and the hand wasn't able to pull in. And it was Paselli over there, but not able to bring it down. Uh, third and four. And if they don't make this one, Frank, I would expect that they might try a field goal. Except what Three. we're just hearing here in front of us, a little bit of chat about. Oh, there's a run right up the middle. Touchdown. That's a touchdown. Yeah. And scores. No, oh, good hard run there. Don't know who it was, but he made a good it looks run. Looks like Crisco. Crisco? That's what it looks like. Okay. We'll give uh, the slippery one. Uh, Credit for anyway. Well, the, the field said 28, I think. So. That's Leone, right? Maybe Leone. Oh, man. There he made it. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Ring that bell! <laughs> that takes a score to 33 to nothing with three and a, a little over three and a half minutes left. We, we, we. Third quarter. From Eric Becker up here, assistant coach, that Mike Leone scored that touchdown. Hard run right up the middle. Punched to him. Now that you replay it in your mind, you can see the, the di different running style between Leone and Crisco and Frey. And well, let's see what uh, Bell does with this kickoff. The last time he, he put a car down to the two. Before that, he'd been hitting short. High ones. So again, it's over to the right side, fielded about the 17. And that one's not going to get too much, short of the 30. Hamden with the ball back at the 27. We had a slight break in the action there as a couple of hand players uh, looked like they had cramps. Uh, that one's run to the left and gains a yard or so, and that's it. Hand's defensive line has done a good job uh, on excellent. all these running plays. Oh, excellent. Tonight. They're going to be some tired hombres in the end of this game, but. But it's also the kind of thing they really like because that's what they're kind of built for. Get down, get dirty, hold their position, let the linebackers come in and help out. Great job by the down three. Second and close to nine. Yeah. 
and run right up the middle. And they got a man stood up and uh, riding him out of bounds here. And instead of north south, he was going west to east or east About to west. About a three yard gain. And they didn't, apparently didn't get him out of bounds. The clock is still running. Oh, really? Third down and four. <laughs> Hamden trying to sweep right. Well, they got that one strung out pretty nicely. Yeah, and it's starting to filter in some uh, some uh, additional players out there right now. I noticed they're warming up another quarterback over on the sideline over there too. So Foy will probably be coming in the next possession by hand. And Frank last week, uh, Ed Brunt, who is coached Foy, said his name is not Michael that is on the list. He's, he goes by Henry. Huh. How about that? See if we can remember that. Oh, Ooh, that's a low, low kick. Going to bounce a lot. Yeah, and pretty, good, go. pretty good roll, however, down about 32. Until it takes a little J turn right there and comes back a yard and a half or so. So, Hand will get it on the 30 yard line. Let's see if Foy comes in to quarterback. You see a number 12 there. We think so. <laughs> yes. Okay. Henry Foy, a quarterback, going to throw on his first nice throw and catch. And completed pass. Should be close to a first down. Looks like he should have it. And that went to Hens Christian Anderson, or <laughs> Kyle Anderson. Kyle Anderson, sophomore. okay. Sophomore. Ah, I saw his dad over here at halftime. A run to the right side and a good oh, run. Nice run. Seven or eight yards. And they're chewing up clock here with a half minute left in the third quarter. Probably one more play in the quarter. Foy looks left. Complete pass, short. Not much gain. There. Not much gain, and that's going to run out the quarter. We're down 10 seconds and running. Oh, that will be the end of the third quarter with Hand leading 33 to nothing against Hamden. We'll switch into the field. Won't have very far to go. With hand leading 33 to nothing against Hamden, the Green Dragons. Henry Foy, at quarterback. Uh, that ball's caught. He's got a first down. Nice job. And down at the 45. And eagle-eyed Frank here is getting his roster out because Hand is filtering in a lot of JV players and kids that haven't been in the game yet. Run to the right, just across the 40 to oh, 45 to the 44. About a yard gain. Boy, rolling right, throwing right, complete pass down to the 40. Short of a first down. Looks like big number 86 again. That Anderson again? 
Kyle Anderson looked like caught that one. Third and four. At the 40. Foy looking this way oh. and <laughs> complete pass. Nice defensive play. Call, tackled immediately. Bring up fourth down. Complete pass, but no gain. Fourth down. They're down to the 40, so they'll go for it. Foy rolling right. Looking fairly long. Uh, thrown over the receiver, out of bounds. Be a turnover on downs. Hamlin will get the ball. Main thing at hand wants to do at this point is let the clock run. They're ahead 33 to nothing against the Green Dragons of Hamden. Let me give you some numbers, Kent. Okay. On defense, 45. 35. 45. Uh, wait a minute. 45 and 34. 45 is Weston Staples. Third, uh, 34. 34 is Ed O'Neill. 17. 17. Dylan Thompson. Okay. Well, I can't see any now. Okay. Run up the middle, short gain, not much. We're a long way to the players out there with those yellow numbers on white shirts. Let's uh, see what I can get here. I think. Number six. Six? Yeah. Six is Ryan Bell. He in there? Well, I thought it was a six. No, nine. Uh, maybe it's a nine. Bruciati. Matt Bruciati is a nine. Another run up the middle. Short gain. Cox running. How about 30? 3 0. 3 0. Number 30 is Hunter Mayhew. 51. 51? Now 51 is Kevin Weibel. Holy cow, we've got uh, number four, which is Austin Coretta in there. Yep, Austin Coretta is four. Very close. Oh, man. Close Breaks to a first. Breaks the tackle, got close to a first down, may have it. Just across midfield. Down to the 49. Oh. So Hamden's keeping the sticks going, but they're also keeping the clock rolling here, yeah, Frank. Yeah, there you go. About 66. 56? 66. 66. Uh, Cameron Gravina. Oh, it's a run to this side. Whoops, whoops. Good run, still going. <laughs> Down near the 40. All right, the most of them for now, anyway. Well, that's close to another first down, maybe a yard short. <sighs> well, Hamden still has their uh, first first line in there, so they're going to try to get on the board. You never like to be uh, pitch the shutout and get get a little. Uh, so they're going to try to get in there no matter what. They're going to for for their own pride, if nothing else, and. One of the benefits of the hand program to me always is the coach never runs up a score. He'll get a comfortable score and then start filtering guys in uh, so they can get you know, some real good experience at this level. That's a first down for Hamden. And it is why a lot of times hand can keep on a, a good season even though they may have had some injuries that are significant. And hand has had injuries of significance this year. Uh, like their top two running backs. Top two running backs, absolutely. And Corey Schweitz is no, uh, yeah. not chopped lover at all as far as he was receiver. a starter. That's right. He that's was a good right. player. 
So, you know, you lose guys like that. Weaver was out. Run left. Oh, nice slice. Uh, nice Ooh, tack on the backfield. Somebody got through there in a hurry. Oh, I'm losing him. Don't know who that was, but he did a good job. Uh, it looked like a linebacker that shot a gap. Two yard loss to the 37. Second and 12. So about the deepest penetration for the Dragons. Same thing, I formation, trying to use their big guys. Well, they had a turnover once that was down pretty deep, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Of course, the big, biggest of all turnovers was the uh, fumble in the end zone of hand, which um, was a touchback for the yeah for the Dragons. Well, we played half of this fourth quarter now. Hand still leading 33 to nothing. Hamden has got the ball, but they're uh, using more time than they are gaining yardage here. Yeah, third and about 10 and a half out there. There's a. That's a yeah. tailback. Yeah. Going yeah. left. It is four down territory, so they'll certainly. He's going to get it. three or four yards. Yeah. And did that ball come loose? Boy, I don't know. There were people um, scratching and clawing at yeah, it just a bit. Guys are doing a good job keeping them up. Wow. I thought he had some uh, form momentum that would have helped on that, but not getting it. I think that ball was fumbled, but it was recovered by oh, him. It looks so? like, yeah, I think so. That's why they spotted it backwards That's like that. What, that would have had to have been the case I guess that's fourth and 11 and Hamlin will go for it they're down to the 36 court no they're, get him they're running oh, to nice this side and they've got that one uh, surrounded yeah good job they strung it out and and run out of room Fourth 17. down play, Ham, uh, Hand gets the ball back. 17 on that tackle. 17. Well, that's Dylan Thompson. Nice job. Well, it'll be a pleasure in the next game to be able to uh, read the numbers at their <laughs> black uniforms, Frank. At home. At home, Thanksgiving Eve. Thanksgiving Eve against the Guilford Indians. At the warm and, warm and balmy surf club. Foy completes his pass there. That's near a first down, yard short. Number 11 on that reception. The 11 is Tyler Riccio. Getting in the record books there, Tyler. Run to the right side. Yeah, first down, I think. Crosses the 50, that should give him a first down. Clock is continuing to run. We're just inside of four minutes. Hand with a comfortable lead here, 33 to nothing. And they can chew up at least half of the clock right now with this series of down, as long as they hold on. Oh, nice. A quick pass and a flat on the right side and a good run Keep after on it. going. And he looks like he's got a first down. <clears throat> Move the sticks. Henry Foy at the controls right now, at quarterback. Yeah, I want to give that one to Kyle Anderson, too. Kyle Anderson, you think sure. that? I mean, I will give it to him. Okay. I know he'll come up to us and tell us if we're wrong. Or his mom and dad will, I guess, you know. <laughs> so nice left, pass, nice catch. Open. Caught down at about 32. Gain of about seven. That looks like 11 again. Yeah, Riccio. Riccio. He's had a couple of good, good receptions on this. <laughs> Tyler Riccio. Foy is getting some pretty good numbers right now as far as 
uh, completion percentage goes. This this particular group out there is having some, having a pretty good series, pretty good uh, setup. You can tell they play together. They know themselves each other. Yeah. Quarterback keep, coming left. Just inside He's this 30, close, it looks like. Close to a first down. Uh, about a yard short. Yeah, just about. Nice job. Um, you know, Foy out there is, is, is a lot of the same kind of trademarks you see from Zach Miller out there. He's very accurate passer. He's got a good arm. He also can use his legs. So he's a double threat out there. Foy rolling right. Oh, Looking to throw just a little, little out of reach. Ball. As I say that, that's the old announcer's uh, uh, You occurrence. jinxed him real quick. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, fourth and yard and a half. Two minutes left in the game. And hand's going to go for it. Yeah. Run left, got the first down. Should be there. Another set of downs, clock is running. I don't know, I missed. I only got to get a 30 something on the number for the running back that time for the first down. Maybe 33, maybe not. Okay. What do we got, a timeout? Before we run the play, we got 127 showing on the clock. No, Hand 30, safely 30, ahead, 33 30, to nothing. 36 was the last running back on the first down. 36, Benjamin Bednarczyk. We'll take a break here. Last minute and a half here. Last minute and a half, and again, we've had a group of young men in there who are basically the whole quarter doing an outstanding job, both on offense and defense. Took a knee. And he's taking a and knee. And that's what okay. we'll see to run the clock out. Yeah. True to form for uh, Coach Steve Filippone. Yeah. He's got enough points. All he needs is to let the clock finish running out. No need and pushing the point and maybe suffering injuries on either side of the ball for either team. Well, we played nine games this year, Frank. Won eight of them. That's pretty good. He's currently ranked third in, third in our division for the state tournament. This will certainly not hurt that at all. It'll help slightly depending on what the rest of the uh, pairings have done. This is their first shot out of the year, right? Yeah, I believe so. And again, a lot of times that's because the other team uh, keeps their first string in against Hans' uh, backup crew. Yeah. And again, great, great experience for these young guys. We're down to a half minute left in the game. And so we're just waiting for the clock to run out. We'll close it off uh, pretty quickly on top of the press box here tonight. Actually, Thanksgiving we're, Eve, Kent. we're we're beside beside the press box. Uh, this is Kent Sprague with Frank Tordoff, and Frank, good to see you back out of the hospital yes, and back to work here. Okay. Steve Fust on the camera tonight. John Woods has gone to Florida. He'll be back for Thanksgiving Eve game. We play the night before Thanksgiving against Guilford at home this year in Madison. Final score: Daniel Hand High School 30.